they will witness the breakthrough. They are fighting you to ensure that you do not rise. But God is saying their effort is going to be made futile and useless. Because that breakthrough that they do not want you to have will come and they will see it. Do not worry how it is going to happen. It is not in your hands to do it. God in heaven is going to shut the mouth of your enemies that have said many unpleasant and unhealthy things about you. There are lots of enemies around you, but you may not know. There are people you smile with and they return the sweet smile, but deep down in their hearts, they are your enemies and they are responsible for your bad situation. They have vowed not to see you break through in life that next level of life they have said they will ensure that you do not get there but god is saying something different to you if they plan if they conspire if they compromise whatever it is they have done to make sure you remain on the ground god is saying you will break through all of them and your life will be transformed the blessings that they think you will not get, that top position, that marriage, that business breakthrough, the breakthrough in your marriage that they have said it will not happen. God is saying they will witness it because it is going to happen and they cannot stop it. Your breakthrough is of the Lord to bring, not in the hand of any man, your blessings is God's divine responsibility to make sure it happens. And whatsoever God is doing, no man or anything in life can stop it. Many people had given up that nothing good will ever come out of Nazareth. They have said and concluded that nothing of good value will be known in Nazareth. But... They did not know that God was planning something different for Nazareth. A man by the name Nathaniel said it. Will anything good come out of Nazareth? But they did not know that God is raising a redeemer from Nazareth. And it all happened in their eyes. They saw it and God was victorious over them. The redeemer, not just the redeemer alone, but the Lord of all. That is what God is doing for you. They will see it. They will witness it. Those that have said you will not make it will come to your celebration and celebrate with you. They will testify with you for all that God will do in your life. That breakthrough that men have been fighting against in your life. They do not want you to have a test of good life. They do not want you to have a good story in your life. They want to make sure you do not have a reason to live. They are not your lifeguard. They have not created you and it is not within their power to decide what will happen in your life. God has created you and he has made you the head. He has provided all that you will need for your life. God has given you all and will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. When they say negative things to you, remind them that God does not fail and he has not stopped working in your life. Tell them God is not done with you. Let them know that God will transform your life and they will see it happen. You do not have to pray for your enemies to die. They have to be alive to see what God is preparing to make out of your life. The psalmist said, Psalms 23 verse 5, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My brimming cup runs over. 6. Surely your only goodness mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life and through the length of my days the house of the lord and his presence shall be my dwelling place 
When God will do it for you, they will not know it. They will be surprised to see that the life they have neglected is now the most celebrated, the story and the testimony of the rejected stone that later became the chief cornerstone. Do not believe what they are saying. Only believe in what God is saying to you. The breakthrough is coming your way. The blessings are coming your way. It does not matter what your enemies have said. That you will be the king. You will not be celebrated. You will not break through in life. You will not survive the sickness and the afflictions. But that is not what God is saying in your case. Your life is very precious to God. Your life is too important to God that He will not let go of you. It does not matter how long it has delayed, how long you have been mocked and oppressed. It does not matter how far they will have gone to make your life nothing. It does not matter their deeds and their projections and plans towards you. It is written in the words of the Lord. Who will speak a word and it will come to pass when the Lord has not spoken? It is only the words of the Lord that will rule the world because the world was created by the words of the Lord. Your life is made by God and it will be ruled by God, not any man or any God anywhere. Do you see the reason you do not have to be afraid of what the devil will do to you? You do not have to give ears to the negative words and works of the enemies in your life. They will witness the breakthrough and they will come to you for counsel. Those that vowed to ensure you did not make it in your life career. When God will open the doors for you, it will be like a dream while laughter will fill your mouth. In the end, your enemies will need you to survive. They will need you to be alive. That is what God is planning to do to them so that they will know that He is the only true God. They will know that it is very bad and wrong to kick against the wall. They will know that God is not going to leave them unrewarded for all the hate they showed you while you loved them. All the curse they made on you while you blessed them. There is a breakthrough coming to you. Hold on to the Lord and you will see how God will lift you above all your enemies. In your office and workplace, in your family and around your neighborhood. God is going to elevate you and make you a king over them and they will be loyal to you for them to live. Do you remember Jephthah? How God turned his story around? God is going to turn your life and the story will change in your life. Those that have hated you will regret it because God is going to make your breakthrough a massive one which they do not expect. They will witness it. They will cry. They will regret and will come to you for the help. You know what? Because the love of God is working actively in you, you will help them and they will know that there is no gain in hating the children of God. In doing that, you are winning souls to the kingdom of God. You will deliver them from the chains of the devil. And in the end, God will take over them. You know why? It is the devil that has been using them against you. Remain steadfast in your faith. See God in all that you do, and you will see how God will open the door of blessings to you, and you will break through life forever in the presence of your enemies.